Let's start the exercise. Then let's tell you something really good. I'm allowed to plank now. Doing well, doing some circuits, getting the body going. I need to get my running shoes somehow. And look at my toenails. Oh my gosh, I need to get toenail clippers. I'm like a freaking Wolverine. Look at that. Holy smokes. Scary. Terrifying. And you know what isn't terrifying? Kumar and all the guys tested negative. Super stoked on that. And one great way to help uh, stop the spread of the virus, get vaccinated. All those guys have their first dose as well. That's probably helped. Super stoked on that. This guy in the balcony up there, sometimes he looks over at me. That could mean he wants to, me to get more motivated. At least that's what I'm thinking. Right there. Yes. Actually, just looking down at his phone. But I always pretend if I'm doing exercise and other people look at me, I'm like, ha. They're telling me, this guy's gotta be motivated, he's gotta be strong, he's gotta be fit, gotta be awesome. So I use that as mental energy to be more fit, strong, and awesome. Back to circuits, feeling good. It's another morning. All right, bring it on. Oh, there's birds, more birds. One more really good thing, watch this. See what I'm doing right now, jumping jacks? I can never do this for many, many months after my shoulder injury. I can do jumping jacks again and I'm doing a bunch of push-ups on my knees. The shoulder's getting better, feeling really strong. I'm feeling a lot healthier. I know it's gonna be another boring day, but I don't care, because there's small victories, which are turning into big victories. Yes, it's good news today, good day. Okay, back to finishing my exercise. This is the best planning. Are you ready for it? Pamelo one, do 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 do. Pamelo two, do 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 do. That's actually all I can do. I think there's a Pamelo song. Let me know in the Philippines. I swear there's a song. Ah, uh, who's it by? About Pamelos, and it goes up quite a bit. Okay. I'm here with the fighter boys, we're in Kalina, we're headed outside of Davao City. We stopped for pomelos, because here in Davao, you have to stop at the fruit stands. These are delicious, but you know what's even more delicious? When the fighter boys do the pomelo dance. You ready boys? A one, a two, a one, two, three, pomelo, one, two, do, 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 do. pomelo, two, do, 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 do. pomelo, three, do, 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 do. pomelo, 
I have two pomelos because Mamoru sent these with the food yesterday. I freaking love pomelo, but I struggle with something. Let's go struggle. Okay, opening the pomelo. I remember on a Fighter Boys trip many years ago, Mike and Brett, they just went and bit the pomelo skin. Never, ever, ever bite the pomelo skin. I just put it in your eye, I just bite it. Oh no! Oh yeah, my god! Oh my god! <laughs> you have me now! Oh. It's like an oil. And when you bite it, it's like an oil. And it feels like... Is that not the strangest sensation? It feels like my mouth's falling asleep. Because it gets all acidity and your just mouth is going to be miserable. It's going to burn. I'm just going to try and rip this one open. But it's tough. Okay. See if I can use this spoon to jab it first. Because I don't actually have a knife. I should have got a knife. I think knives are not allowed here or something for some reason. Ugh. This is the thing is like, I love pomelo so much, but I don't love opening pomelo. Okay, back to the pomelo. That was actually shockingly easier than I expected. Usually pomelos are so difficult to rip open. This one must be pretty ripe. Yeah. Now, I grew up eating grapefruits in Canada, but pomelos tend to be much, much better and sweeter, especially the pink ones. Grapefruits are a bit aslum. These pomelos in the Philippines are the freaking best. Mm. But I'll be honest in saying that I like when it's just already out and I don't have to work for it. Uh, that sounds so lazy, so shallow, but I got all the time right now to work for my pomelo. Mmm. I just ate a whole pomelo, and every time I come out here to eat, hello, friend. Hello. This dog just comes out here. I think he's looking for food all the time. I don't know what to name him. Hello. Don't laugh at me too much, but when I realized I had to come here, uh, obviously, it's like quick packing, quick packing. I didn't bring a fan. Uh, I forgot to bring bannigs. Uh, all this kind of stuff. But you know what? I definitely did pack. It's in here somewhere. Ah, Gunting. Yes. Headband fabric. This is the most brutal headband making session I've ever had. These scissors are now super dull and it really, really hurts my hand just to cut the fabric. So I'm only gonna make a few, I guess. First thing I'm gonna do when I get back to Kegi and Dioro, go to my Suki, get new scissors. In case you're wondering, I have to wear a headband when I make these. Actually, that's not true, but I like to, because basically, well, there's a lot of purpose for these. Uh, for me, it's always my simple reminder of my happiness and inspiration. That's why it's the color of the Philippine flag. Um, and, you know, since 2007, when I first started traveling the world, I started putting headbands on my head and, but I would like rip off shirt sleeves and stuff. And, and it was just like my simple reminder of, you know, inspiration, adventure. And, and uh, yeah, like I said, they've adapted over the years and then now it's Filipino colors ever since I started becoming Filipino because 
obviously this country has you know overwhelmed my life with inspiration and uh, yeah I like to sit and make headbands listen to music a lot but in this case my hand hurts because the scissors are really dull unfortunately so I'll just make a few Well, sometimes people ask me what makes you sad when your scissors just can't do it. I can't do it. This is hurting my hand way too much. These scissors suck. They were so good for so long. I can't make headbands. Pohon. <sighs> Sayang. Cucumber apple. This is a really good smoothie. Oriental Cup, if you're watching this, sell fruit smoothies. These are really good. Yesterday they sent me one that was carrot apple. Again, super thankful for the community. Thank you again, Edar, sending me food every day. Obviously, Threen, obviously, Eza, the personal assistant. People are just making this so much easier, and I'm able to be super healthy with things like this. Fruit smoothies are the best, and when they have green in them too, Double awesome. Mm. So, I was trying to make headbands earlier, couldn't, but I actually want to talk to you guys about, about headbands because it's been a really unique life lesson for me having this thing on my head uh, basically every day, um, almost all day, for the past eight years of my life. Uh, in fact, even before that, I used to wear headbands. Uh, not all the time every day, but for a vast majority of time. A lot of people sometimes would be like, oh, what's that silly thing? Why don't you take it off? Or, you know, maybe I'll wear a barong, for example, or a suit. They'd be like, oh, it takes away from the classiness. Like, what are you doing? It's so silly. Something I've really learned over the years is that if you have something that's connected to you uh, in a positive way and it doesn't negatively affect other people. So this headband, it, it it's not hurting anybody. It's not going to you know, be a bad omen on them or whatever. It's it's just a headband, it sits on my head and it means a lot to me and it inspires me and it connects me to, you know, feeling good in life and wanting to do good things for other people and just reflecting and 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 that's so important and it's important to me. So at the end of the day I just don't care. I don't care if people think it looks silly or if they think it looks ugly, because what's important is how it feels for me. And again, as long as it doesn't negatively affect anybody like it's not hurting anyone uh, never allow other people to bring down your own personal uh, vibe about something just because they think it's a bit silly or a bit weird there's nothing weird about being positive and finding inspiration in something and that's my little miniature emo smoothie talk from out here at my favorite place at the isolation facility. Don't judge me. <laughs> really have to learn how to trick the ants. And for me, I always place something near window or outside so the ants will not come and get my stuff. They've been avoiding the muscatero so far. The setup is actually legit. Uh, I'm sleeping all right here, it's fine. And 
The other thing is, when you have your food, like, it's super, super important that you lift it up in water if it's something you're trying to save. So the ants, I think I've showed it to you before in Pagan Duo, but... Okay, back to the bowl. Take the bowl, place it in the plate like this. Now, the thing here is we're going to give this chocolatey rice downstairs later, but the problem is ants are definitely going to attack. Within 10 minutes, they probably swarm this. So, check this out. Welcome to the anti-ant food protecting system. Ants. They exist in the Philippines in abundance. These ones are called salom, right here. The bigger kind of black ones. Uh, they tend to be on lots of fruits, they like sweet things. And then amigas over here. I don't know if you can see them. See those little mini ones? Don't know, pretty small. Amigas are the ones that bite you. I'm sure I've told you this many times before, but being aware of ants and being used to it is definitely helping me right now here at this facility and it's just helped my life in general in the Philippines. Living here is not going to be perfect, just like it's not perfect in Canada, not perfect in Europe, not perfect everywhere, but there are specific things you should expect. Ants. Ants are definitely part of life in the Philippines and I have tricked them and outsmarted them already. Hydrate. I've been hydrating a lot. Um, yeah, all the guys texted some negative, that's fantastic. I just wanted to share that with you. It's great news, it's a good day. Um, have a bit more time here. And speaking of that, even though I'm energetic now, talking to you, feeling really good, exercise this morning, I felt miserable last week. I had a sudden wave, body pains, fatigue. I was just totally knocked down. Uh, so please be aware again, this energy right now, this isn't the COVID I had, okay? This is me obviously recovering a lot and having had it for a long time now and getting better. Um, in case you're wondering, just because for some information out there, when I did feel horrible and have lots of symptoms, all I took was a bit of paracetamol, as told by my doctor friends, and I took this a tiny bit for cough, Cena Code Forte, Cena Code Forte, and I've just been taking a lot of, well not a lot of, but once or twice a day, sodium, ascorbate, and zinc. That's it. That's all I took. And, and my vaccination. So those things, that's all I took. Feeling good, on the recovery. Yeah, it's, an, it's, it's gonna be another boring video, I'm sorry, but it is what it is, this is the situation I'm in, and I look forward to, you know, continuing to recover, and then having COVID gone, and going back home. So, yeah. In the meantime, if you have any really, like, interested questions about my life over the past eight years here in the Philippines, now might be the time to comment them and ask. Maybe I can make a sit-down video where we answer some of those. Uh, maybe I can... Do a live one day and we can just chat, I don't know. Until then, thank you everybody for being so positive. Uh, I know whenever we talk about COVID and we say that word positive, there's always that pun in the joke, but you guys know what I mean. Keep it up, stay healthy, stay strong. Thank you for helping me through my recovery. And I might take a little bit of a break now between the next videos or whatever. And see you when I see you. Thank you. Hydrate.